In this video, I'll show you how you can create interactive videos without using overlay slides. So I had a client recently who wanted to do interactive video and we built some prototypes of what their project was going to look like. And each time we sent it out for review, the stakeholder wasn't entirely happy with the look and the feel. It really came down to the blurred background. And no matter how much we reduced it in Adobe Captivate, we really couldn't get those overlay slides to look the way the client actually wanted. What we ended up doing is what I'll show you in the following tutorial. Okay, so this is not the actual project that my client uh, used because obviously that's copyrighted information here. And one thing I want to point out is members of my YouTube channel who have download privileges will have access to this particular project file. And the advantage is, is that I'll be teaching you how to build a custom multiple answer, multiple choice knowledge check that will essentially act as your overlay slide, but it's going to be put right on the video itself. So here's how we originally did it. Let's take a look here. Um, we can, of course, select our overlay slide, which is just a knowledge check multiple choice. And we can go into and adjust the background opacity. And while you might think you can make it literally zero, there's always going to be this blurring and sort of an edge effect. Let's preview it so you can see what I'm talking about here. So here's our video and at about the four second mark, we see this blurring effect. And this was the blurring effect that the end client didn't want to see. They wanted to see their video crisp and clear. They also didn't like this uh, flare effect that seemed to occur around the outside edge. So let me show you what we ended up coming up with. So first of all, let's delete this overlay slide. So I'm going to select that and just unlink the current overlay slide here. And I have all the elements on a separate slide. I'm going to delete the actual overlay slide. We won't need it. And here are the elements that I need. So what I can do is I can just select all of these objects and I need to rearrange them a little bit here. But we'll just select all of those and we'll cut and we'll return to our first slide here. And again, at about the four second mark, I'm going to paste those in. And we might have to shift a couple of pieces around. Uh, yeah, we will. Now, along with this came a shared action, which I'm using for the selection of my answers. And uh, as well, the advanced action which will be run on the submit button here. And for these objects, this feedback item here, we're going to have to select that and just drag it past one little inkling past the pause point of the first set of buttons. And that's probably enough right there. And so again, the idea is let me hide these, uh, these feedback items here. So what we're doing is we're literally displaying the items right on the screen here. And of course you can, the advantage of this is you can position your objects so they make sense for what's in the background of the video itself here. So if we actually go to where the pause point is, maybe it is better up top there. That's good. We can still see the uh, jump roper. Is that what you call them? Skipper? <laughs> in the background there. And uh, so let's test this out and see how it works here. So let's preview in HTML5 in browser. Okay, so now we've got our interactive video running. We've got our person jumping rope. It pauses after these objects fade in. And what's nice is I've added a little bit of a background uh, effect here just to create the effect that there's a shadow there. Uh, it looks very 3D. And of course, in this example, all of the answers are correct, but this is a multi-answer custom knowledge check. 
selecting those. And of course I can deselect them as well. That's built into the shared action. And then there's a simple advanced action that checks to see the value of some variables associated with these buttons. And then we get the correct feedback here. And of course the continue button will continue with the rest of the interactive video. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.